sorry. Have you been waiting long? Not very long. Hmm. Fifteen long minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's it's on record now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Terrible. I'm really sorry. Okay. Thank you. Just to ease out your tension. This is what I got for oh, you. Oh, thank you. You make me feel even more guilty now. I'm no. late and then I'm... Is that a compliment, your dress? Yeah. And you're looking radiant. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Vincent. Now, must I look to see if there's a knife or a gun hidden inside? No, not in that. Uh -huh. But you'll get to know soon. <laughs> Mr. Vincent Ashokan might be a villain on screen, but um, I've met you... Um, two, three times socially, mm -hmm. and you yeah. seem like one of the gentlest people uh, that that I've ever known, and the flowers as well. Uh -huh. So, is that a compliment, yeah. or is it uh, something hidden beneath? No, no, there's, there's nothing like hidden. A gentle, nothing. but yet dangerous guy. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing like between the lines. Okay. Nothing. You're a very unlikely villain, I must okay. say. So it's been difficult getting um, getting you to have lunch with me. You've been what? shooting. No, every yes, time we yes. called, you were busy. Yeah, yeah, that too. You want some pepper? Yes, please. Thank you. What What is your latest project? This movie is very interesting, I should say. And uh, are you a villain again? Yes, mm -hmm. I'm acting with Mr. Parthiban, who's an actor director, very creative filmmaker. Very nice sense of humor as well. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, this movie is called mm -hmm. Vittagan, and. Uh, my role as such is a, as a little eccentric uh, guy in the film. And uh, I must say, we are trying to, you know, kind of uh, limit that to a point that it shouldn't become more of a comedy on screen mm -hmm. because of what I do. So every frame he keeps reminding me and saying, hey, we, we need to bring in that eccentricity but not you know, Not descend into caricature. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we've been watching and doing. Let's see whether your, how it, your movie uh, review is going to... Yeah, when is uh, it for release? When will it be ready? We, it probably sometime in May, April, May. It's when it's been targeted at. You've been doing quite a few of these villain roles. Aren't you tired of them? Don't you want um, a range? I mean, you did act as a hero, but it's more uh, the baddie than the goodie. So... Yeah, because, you know, uh, what I figured out is for a villain, there is no image set, you know, there are no boundaries. So you can experiment a lot, like the one I'm doing r right now. See, this is, uh, uh, you know, I did the previous movie I did was Yogi with Mr. Amir. That showed me as a very uh, sophisticated guy, and but a very bad person at the end of it. You know, it was a very characterized villain role. It was very different. So the same way when this offer came in, I was very glad because it's a very eccentric role. It's nothing to what you compare with Yogi, what I did. And the same way I did a movie called Kutti, so which is again a, a thug, thug's role. So playing a villain, I find it, uh, uh, you know, satisfying as an actor when he could, uh, when I could, you know, uh, experiment with things mm -hmm. like when you get stuck to like saying playing only the good guy then there is a certain things which he cannot cross you know certain uh, uh, even even let's say even the dialogues so you're saying that even even as a villain you can interpret the role in any which way you like yes. and you can give it yes. shades and of course um, yeah. other subtle nuances you can bring in I can understand why you understand these things so very well I heard you have a acting uh, experience, theatre experience a lot. Yes, yeah, I mean, it? not uh, nothing major. I do a mm. few plays on stage, but... Uh, oh, good, yeah. good, good. So what kind of roles do you play, usually? Uh, maybe because of the way I look, I usually get typecast into, you know, a nice Indian girl. Uh, I've done a lot of Indian plays. Which you are you saying that you are not? Yeah, <laughs> appearances are very deceptive. Believe oh, me, <laughs> as yeah. as is the case with you as well. Okay, sorry. Go on, go on. Tell me. Uh, yeah, I've done. Uh, I mean, American, British plays. It's, mm -hmm. it's good fun. I love doing theatre because you're in front of a audience. It's all live. You have to think on your feet. Okay. Uh, whereas in cinema, you you do get to rehearse and uh, not yeah. rehearse, but. You know, you know. We are allowed to make mistakes. Yes. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. <laughs>
You're putting words in my mouth. <laughs> we should only be putting food in our mouth, not words. <laughs> because that's what the theatre people are always proud to say. Hey, guys, yeah. you see what we do on uh, on stage is what this. I fully agree, but again, a theatre is something which is, I would say, a foundation to mm -hmm. to all actors. Yeah, there are a lot of theatre artists who go on to become. In fact, uh, Yog Jappi, who plays uh, villain, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in the latest movie Asal as well. No, mm -hmm. Bilha, he was in Bilha Yog. He was in theatre. Okay, okay, okay. And then, uh, so, do you have a lot of competition in terms of other actors who play villains? No, I, I wouldn't call it competition as such. It's something which I learn from them. Mm -hmm. you know, honestly, it's not. I don't look at them as a competitor or anything like that. But it's just if if I get to see somebody who's when I hear is done well in a film, I go watch him to know what makes him tick. Mm -hmm. What was it like being a hero in um, Silla Neerangalil? It was very different. Like I said, when I played that, I uh, luckily that particular script had uh, offered uh, two roles. One is totally a negative person, the other one being a good guy. And when playing the good guy, I was a little stumped because he cannot cross a certain line. He has to be nice all throughout mm. the, the, the frame, whether um, there is uh, something the other person is offensive, or let's say even the heroine, let's say the girl comes late. He still has to be nice, he like how has, I did. Yeah. He still has to give her now flowers. Now I'm trying to be the nice guy and play the hero. So maybe all this is just an <laughs> act for the camera, don't be fooled. Yeah, I, yeah, I just said, I just said there's something hidden <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> By the end of the show, we'll know. We'll figure that out. Yeah. So um, I'm really enjoying the soup, lovely choice. It's not yeah. spicy. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'm going to let you order the main course as well for me. Sure. Mm. Are you sure about it? Absolutely. So while we do that, you take a break and come back and join me and Vincent Ashokan here out at lunch at the Marriott.